Hi book lovers, Canela with Aspen Books and More here and it's been a, another beautiful summer day here in the Pacific Northwest. It's been very dry this summer though so we've had forest fires or wildfires to the north, to the south and to the east and there's been ash flowing in over uh, a lot of the land, a lot of the people had to breathe bad air. And there's been a lot of talk about weather in general because other parts of our country have been hit with severe hurricanes, flooding, uh, lots of storms everywhere, uh, it seems. And also we've talked a lot about the sun. Uh, it's pretty much unified our whole country looking at the solar eclipse uh, a few weeks ago. So I wanted to tell you about some of the books that Osborne has, Osborne and Ken Miller, about weather and climate and helping you and your kids understand what all this is about. And to start with, we have for the younger readers, an Osborne beginner's book about weather and a See Inside Lift the Flap book about weather and climate. And it has over 100 flaps to lift, so I'll lift a few of those for you in a moment. But first, the Osborne Beginners books are for age seven to eight, so you figured out uh, how to read, but you're still a beginner reader. So there's uh, not an enormous amount of text on each page it relies heavily still on pictures and tidbits of information to uh, be able to understand uh, for a beginner reader this book has several different sections it does not need to be read in sequence uh, you can pick and choose for instance if you want to look up specifically about storms you can do that it does mention climate change uh, in case your views on that um, are different from the book. I will tell you here what it says. It does say many scientists think that the Earth's atmosphere is slowly getting warmer. And I think that is a very true statement. Many scientists do believe that uh, even if some of the science is inconclusive, we do need to do more research about this topic. And I think it's good to arm our children with information and as much knowledge as we have about such a difficult subject. At the end of these books there is a glossary of terms and um, websites to visit. In the same series, Osborne Beginners, there is a book about firefighters that I thought would also um, be a good complement. Uh, there is a section in that one about uh, forest fires and how to um, how to deal with those with helicopters and so on. So they're called Osborne Beginners. Many books in this series, really excellent for um, first, second, third grade, I would say the early readers. For the older readers, uh, we have the Weather and Climate Change book. Definitely talks about climate change. And it has um, still lots of fantastic illustrations to help you understand the science and how uh, the world and the atmosphere works to create weather, different types of cloud patterns, and how meteorologists and other scientists uh, interpret and predict weather. Uh, also, this is internet linked. Do you know what that means? That means there are references from the Osborne website. So you go to the Osborne Quick Links website Put in the title of the book you're reading and the page number you're on and you will be guided to uh, web content that's related to that uh, information that you've just read. So it might be videos of tornadoes or it might be um, uh, information from a weather station, all kinds of really cool material uh, and uh, the websites are from all over the place. It could be NASA, it could be a museum website, it could be... Um, um, Smithsonian. Uh, I've seen all kinds of different websites pop up when you use the internet links from Osborne. For the even older reader, this is a real go-to. You should have some of these encyclopedias uh, from Osborne in your home library. The Geogra Geography Encyclopedia has one chapter about weather, another chapter about climate, 
a fantastic resource for middle school, high school, and us adults. You know, Osborne always says that they're for young readers, but there are tons of adults who use our books because they're so clearly explaining difficult content, difficult material. So back to our Lift the Flap book. Here's, um, here's that one, and oops, here comes Rico. Uh, here's what it looks like inside. Rico's hunger for dinner. Uh, here's the page about wild winds. As, as you see, there are lots of flaps to lift to understand better. Talks about physics, how you can't actually see the wind, but you can see things that are moved by wind, by air, thereby measuring and understanding uh, how the wind is blowing. There's an explanation of the scale for measuring wind strength. Um, as you can see, there's a tornado and uh, what a hurricane does. It talks about how it brings rain and flooding uh, along its path and so on. It's a fantastic book. Again, I love the Lift the Flap books. It says it's for seven years and up, but uh, content-wise, maybe, yes, it can be a little complex, but even younger kids love to read these kind of Lift the Flap books together with older readers, parents, or siblings, and uh, lift all the flaps and ask about what's, what's in here. Um, you can talk about how you can drill down in the ice and so on. So these are my book recommendations for talking about weather. And um, I hope that all of you that are listening or looking are safe. I have checked in with friends and family that I have in Texas and Florida, and so far they are safe. But I heard on the radio that 90% of some of the Caribbean islands, ha I mean, not 90% of the islands, but there are islands in the Caribbean where 90% of the infrastructure has been destroyed. So this can be a topic that um, might come up in news for a while. And if your kids are showing any concern about this or want to know more, turn to Osborne. Thank you for watching.